this episode of Broke and Brilliant. No, wait. Stay, oh, stay, oh, stay oh, smart, oh, not broke. Oh. Mockingbird. Round two. No, no, no. I edit these episodes, so I'm definitely editing oh, this out. Exactly 10 seconds to answer each one. A goose. <laughs> so vague. Final answer. Baby shark. A dolphin. Big Ryan Reynolds fan. You're on candid camera. Uh-huh. Hey. Woo. 130. Name a TV show. A dinosaur. Hey, drop us a comment if you think you know this answer, because Rachel for sure doesn't. Ah! (laughs) Welcome to another episode of Broke and Brilliant. A trivia podcast. (laughs) I swear I'll never get used to it. I'll never get used to it. I thought you were waiting. Are we back to doing this? Okay, come on. Go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Broke and Brilliant. A trivia podcast. With Rox, Rachel, and Luke. Woo! Um, and we're going to get right into it. What? <laughs> we hate long intros. So we're going to get right into it. We're also going to start with some rapid fire. So basically, I'm going to ask you guys 10 questions that I wrote. You have exactly 10 seconds to answer each one. The first person to get it gets the point. Each question is worth half a point. There are 10 questions, so the most anyone can get is five points. Each each right answer is a half point. Okay, what is the capital of Argentina? <laughs> uh, Lima? Uh, Sao Paulo. No, that's Brazil. Okay, that's you guys, even... 10 seconds. It's Buenos Aires. Aires? Buenos Aires. Aires. That was in no. 10 seconds. All right, number two. What is the Oklahoma State bird? I just love this one. A goose. A uh, mockingbird. You guys are never going to get it. It's, wait, wait. It's a scissor-tailed flycatcher. <laughs> what? He's having too much fun. He, like, thinks it's funny that the question is ridiculous. So, uh, Dude, there's a bird called the scissor-tailed flycatcher. Look it up. It is a hilarious-looking bird. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. How many tens are in a million? Six. 100,000. Correct. <laughs> how, many, how many stripes are on the American flag? 50. 50. 13. 13. 13. 13. Yeah. What is the largest land animal? A but oh hippo. No. A dinosaur. Oh. An elephant. No. Land oh, animal. Not... That's <laughs> an elephant. Uh, I will give it to you because technically it's the African bush elephant. So yes. <laughs> what is the average IQ in the U.S.? 120. 140. 130. 126. 128. 20, 108. 110. 17. 109. 111. 112. 113. 114. Uh, it is 98. <laughs> Oh. oh, I was closer. That's a. <laughs> what was the What was Martin Scorsese's debut feature film in 1967? Good, not Goodfellas. Godfather. Oh. The Godfather? No, no that wasn't Scorsese. Yeah, that was Francis Ford Coppola. Who's that knocking at my door? What state has the highest mountain in the United States? Washington, Colorado, California. The state uh, mountain is called Mount McKinley. Oh, New Hampshire, Montana. Okay, you guys are gonna be kicking yourself. It's so obvious. Don't. I didn't say Hawaii. Okay. I didn't say continental. Alaska. Alaska. It's Alaska. Oh, uh, no, okay. Yes. Um, what food is the most consumed in the entire world? Cheese. No, cheese. Cheeseburger. No, pasta. Rice. It's rice. It's rice. Uh, I just asked that. <laughs> I just asked that on heart. All right. Uh, what TV show is often identified as the first reality TV show? Real, real world. world. The real world? It's very obvious. Candid camera. Um, You're on candid camera. Hey. So you each got two, so you guys each start with a point. Yay! High five. Okay. So See, we're still we're level. Tied. We're level playing field. <laughs> As always, now we, be- we begin the seven rounds of trivia that you guys wrote for each other. We will begin. I normally start with uh, a question for Roxanne first, so today I'm going to go the opposite. And I'm gonna start. Wow, I get to go first. I know. That makes me more nervous, I think. Okay, so we're going to um, add, we're going to add some stakes. So now, whoever wins the podcast or whoever wins the episode, the next episode, the loser loses one lifeline, and the winner gets to decide which lifeline they lose. First off, I want to give a quick shout out to Adrian who asked us to shout him out, and because he's awesome, we're going to do it. Love that! Oh, hi. Round one. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> General knowledge. What agriculture si- agricultural simulation game launched on Facebook in 2009? Farmville. Final answer. That is correct. Woo! And uh, she left a little factoid. Oh, um, we love those. It mm-hmm. says fact. 
Farmville has been played by more than 400 million people spread over 215 countries, including 37 in the Vatican and one in Antarctica. Like, literally one person in Antarctica. Plays <laughs> yeah, apparently. Someone so was, some, like, really itching to play. Yeah. Some scientist got like, caught in a storm and was like, fuck it. Yeah, or they're like, I miss, I miss crops. <laughs> Lauren and I used to ditch school to play that game. Who is Lauren? Stresses me out. Um, my old neighbor slash friend. Still friend, old neighbor. <laughs> uh, round one, general knowledge for Rachel. Just no, kidding, for Roxanne, for Roxanne, written by Rachel. What American holiday, originally known as Armistice Day, is recognized on November 11th every year? Oh, Labor Day. Final answer. No. No, 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 Veterans Day. It's Veterans Day. Gosh dang it. You said final I, answer. I don't know. Mm. No, I didn't. No, those are two different holidays. You mean I don't know? No, I know, but it's no, Veterans I meant, like, Day. She didn't. We didn't say it. Like I, got, like I said it, and then I was like, no, that's wrong. Yeah, but you still said final answer. I know, but Veterans Day. It's it's. I got it. It is Veterans Day. I got really it, excited. You, you didn't get it because you didn't. You I got said, really excited. You said it. <laughs> but the one time I remember to say final answer. Yeah. <laughs> Round two. That's actually really funny. <laughs> what to- is the stage name? For the artist whose real name is Peter Jean Hernandez. Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> Philip Seymour Hoffman. Okay. Say, what's his name again? Just the, the name. Peter Jean Hernandez. PG. Oh, 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 oh. Pitbull. Final answer. That is totally wrong. Mm. Not even, you said it so confidently, but that's not even wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing. <laughs> I felt really good about that. No, it is I've... actually Bruno Mars. Oh. <laughs> And, well, Pitbull uh, seems like his name should be Peter. <laughs> you said that. So, like, it was just amazing, the conviction in your voice. He adopted his stage name from the childhood nickname his father gave him, adding Mars at the end because I felt like I didn't have no pizzazz. And a lot of girls say I'm out of this world. So I was like, I guess I'm from Mars. That is the dumbest. Isn't this dumb? <laughs> Roxanne, are you ready? Yeah. What 2005 song by The Fray features the lyrics, let's rearrange. I wish you were a stranger. I could disengage. I'm so proud of you for not singing that. I was re- it was really hard. Oh, is it How to Save a Life? Or is it Cable Car? Or is that the same song? We're going to go with How to Save a Life. Final answer. That is uh, incorrect. It's Cable Car, isn't it? It's Over it My Head Cable over Car. Over My Head, head. Parentheses Cable Car. Cable Car. Round three. Movies. I don't remember my question. We love that. Rachel, how many deaths happen in Jurassic Park? Wow. How many Bullshit deaths happen question. in Jurassic Park? Bullshit question. Okay, well, I mean, Jurassic Park, like, wait, just the first one or the whole series? The first one. Mm-hmm. Just the first one. Correct. In just the first one, I know that the guy in the bathroom dies. Some random dudes die, like two, three, maybe. I know the main characters don't die. Laura Dern lives. Hey, drop us a comment live. if you think you know this answer, because Rachel for sure doesn't. <laughs> I think that I'm going to guess six. Final answer. You are so damn close. It's five. It's five. Oh! oh. My, my gut was I, four. I would have guessed like 15. I mean, no, 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 because it doesn't, like, they don't kill that many people. What company intro music is this? Oh. Oh. DreamWorks. Final answer. You said DreamWorks final answer? Yeah. That is that is, that is right. Damn that good job. Thank the good Lord. Because I can picture it going like this and it's a little guy fishing. Round five. Food. Four. No, it's four. Round four. Television. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. And it does feel like we're flying through. We're not flying through. She said we're flying through, so I was like, oh, I guess we're on five. I don't know why. Okay. TV. Which successful prequel to a TV show is now getting a spinoff? That's a whole clue. <laughs> Bryson, that's so vague. <laughs> I told you I told you she was going to win this week because I knew she was just going to be evil with her questions. No. Okay. Name a TV show, but it has to be the one I'm thinking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, I'm so, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. What do you mean successful prequel? So it was already a show? Mm-hmm. It was a show, and then there's a prequel to the show, and now that's getting yeah. a spinoff. Yes. Oh. Oh, then Game of Thrones. So how House of Dragons. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, hold on. That's, I mean, technically, that is a correct answer. Yeah. It's not the right answer. Yeah. Oh. So can we... I didn't say final answer, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, we, can we give her who made the show? It's on CBS. Okay, on TBS. Oh, okay. It's fucking Young Sheldon. See? Uh, she didn't get it right. Sorry, Rachel. It is Young Sheldon. Okay. But you said Game of Thrones. Yeah. But I didn't but say like, final answer, but like it's fine. I'll take it. What American comedy created by Tina Fey and Robert Robert Carlock, starring Ellie Kemper in the title role, premiered in 2015 on Netflix and ran for four seasons? Okay. I'm going to use a lifeline. Hell yeah, you like- are. Kelsey would know this. Oh, I think so. So I'm going to call Kelsey. Dang. Wait, we need a phone. Fu- I need a phone. Fu- ready? Yeah. Ready? Lifeline. I look so... Like, this is like tripping me I out. I need too many refried beans. Hi. Um, you're my you're my lifeline. What, what, what's up? What's the question? What American comedy created by Tina Fey and Robert Carlock? Oh, uh, 30 star- Rock. Starring Ellie Kemper in, in 2015. Oh, okay. That's our final answer? Yeah. The unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. The final answer. That is correct. I knew it. 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 Okay, thank you. You're the best. Bye. <laughs> good use of a lifeline, Rox. Good use of a lifeline. I know. That was good. Way better than Rachel calling her Rachel's mom. Rachel's mom. And- <laughs> yeah. Never calling my mom ever again. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Roxanne actually won an entire episode. And um, we screwed up the recording and we had to throw the whole thing away. But she she destroyed that episode. Okay, can we please keep this in there? Because everyone thinks I'm dumb. I know. I know <laughs> I, that's why I'm saying it. Because you... <laughs> Thank like, you. Like, it wasn't even a competition that episode. You just ran away with it. No, no, no. I edit these episodes, so I'm definitely editing I this out. I literally... Rachel's like, oh, this. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> um, all right. Are we on the next round already? Great. Yes. Round five. Food and drink. What year before 1950 was the chocolate chip cookie invented? You really helped her out. Yeah, well, because I was... Oh, I feel like I know this though. Toll House cookies. Don't they say the date on them? What year before 1950 was the chocolate chip cookie invented? I think it was 1932. Do you guys like my jacket? Yes. Let her her think. You're fine. Okay, well, I think it was... I think the Toll House cookie dough... I think Toll House was first. They were the first chocolate chip cookie. I'm like almost positive about that. But that's a little factoid with this question. And I th- I don't know what year it was, but I think it was 1932. 32 sounds wrong now. Like definitely my grandma had cookies when she was growing up. <laughs> it's 1912, too early. 1912, final answer. So I had no idea. This is wild information, Roxanne. Yeah. I this know. doesn't make any... You're wrong, by the way. Uh, this is... You're closer. The chocolate chip cookie answer. was invented in, in 1938. Eight. Oh, see, I knew the Toll House thing. Like, Wait, so, what, so so did people just like eat cookies prior and then they didn't have chocolate in it? and like Read the fact? Didn't I put a fact to it? You did, I'll yeah, read it. Yeah, about Toll House, 100%. I knew so it. So the chocolate chip cookie was invented in 1938 by Ruth Wakefield, who famously ran the Toll House restaurant in Wakefield, Massachusetts. 1938. I know. So, right. So maybe my grandma didn't have chocolate chip cookies growing up. <laughs> or like an official one or something. Like it's such a staple thing. So like did people like have, they have sugar cookies or like oatmeal and or just no cookies at all? I don't know. I don't know. Look that up. Yeah. You guys look look it up and let us know in the comments. Yeah, I, let I us guess, know in the comments. No, nope, I guess we'll never know. Uh, Roxanne, what alcohol brand is associated with Ryan Reynolds due to his owner's stake or owner's interest in it? What alcohol brand? Mm-hmm. The only thing I can think about Ryan Reynolds right now is he, I know he loves soccer. Is it Guinness? Would it be Guinness? You can get a hint if you want I know. One. I'm going to say Casamigos. Final answer. So Casamigos, I believe, was actually It's George, George Clooney. Clooney's. I know, yeah. but I was like, but I feel like other celebrities could have gotten a stake in it. So that is incorrect. Mm, the correct yes. answer is <laughs> aviation gin. <laughs> yeah. I I've it. never even... I've never even heard of that. That's so funny. No clue. Big Ryan Reynolds fan. Yeah. Look, you know that guys, this is like totally common. Guys, if you ask them who the hottest male actor is, they all say Ryan Reynolds. No, 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 and no. And women not do the, not agree. He's not the hottest. Uh, Chris Hemsworth is absolutely hands down the hottest. But 
Ryan Reynolds has like a comedic He's charm funny. to him that yes. adds to his good looks. Yeah, but like so, if you ask women, we never say Ryan Reynolds. We Lots say Ryan of guys Gosling. say Ryan Reynolds. I will prove it. That'll be extra bonus content. No, I mean, Ryan Reynolds is a good looking dude. I mean, he's just, he's got the he whole package. He's so good looking. He's got a good, good bod. He's got a good. He's tongue. funny. He's got good comedic timing. Yeah. You know, and he's got a good voice. Round six, dealer's choice. The Red Wedding episode of Game of Thrones happened in which season? Oh, okay. I think I do know this. It's three or four. Could be two. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. You know what? I'm in a lifeline. I'm going to call Jack. We're going to rebrand this podcast to just Game of Thrones spoilers. Lifeline, yeah. I am calling my brother Jack. This is Jack, but you can't see Look at him. He's a little... <laughs> what season of Game of Thrones is the Red Wedding? Season three. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Any final answer? Yeah, I'm pretty positive. Season three, final answer. That is correct. Woo! Thank you. Bye. Show after. <laughs> I'm so proud. Thank you. Oh, oh you're way better than mother. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Hell yeah. What is, what is the score as of now? Uh, two to two, or I technically three to three because the plus extra three points. Three to three. That counts. Yeah. Those points count. Okay, yeah. for Roxanne. Left Shark became an internet sensation after being a background dancer. Of whose halftime performance during the Super Bowl? Left Shark. I'm gonna go with Baby Shark. Doo -doo. Yeah, I know that's literally what I was thinking about. I hope it gets stuck in everyone's head. Um, I'm gonna say Katy Perry. Final answer. <gasps> yes. Yay! Yay! How'd you get that? Uh, I just feel like I don't know. I feel like it's like one of those like random things in my head that I See? know. Damn. Round seven. Deconstructed. See, I told you we're flying through it. Yeah. This establishment was founded by Nolan Bushnell, the co-founder of Atari, in 1977 in San Jose. Oh, that's right. I can't ask for hints. <laughs> I was about to be like, nope. hint? <laughs> not, not on a round. That's all hints. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm not sure. Please go to the next. This is your two-point clue. The original mascot was going to be a coyote. I said coyote word. That's great. the whole clue? That's the whole clue, yeah. The OG Fruits. mascot was going to be a coyote. And it's Atari, so it's a gaming system? So is it PlayStation or... Rachel, I'm just going to read you the first, the first clue again. This establishment was founded... Okay. So it's a restaurant? If yours is also a restaurant, that's funny. <laughs> um, okay, well then that makes me think it's Red Robin. Because Roxanne loves Red Robin. <laughs> okay, so... Should I answer that? <laughs> There's no leading. <laughs> uh, Luke has helped you before on accident. Yeah, I've already given you an answer. How much do you want from me? Uh, okay, fine. I'll take the last. The one point clue. Famous for its arcade games, prizes, and colorful interior decor. Oh, that's also the rest of the whole clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, now I think it's Dave and Buster's. So Dave and Buster's final answer. So, so before I give you, before I give you the is answer, is it Chuck E. Cheese? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was not gonna say. I was like, "There's no way she chose Chuck E. Cheese." Dude, dude <laughs> Roxanne's got jokes. Rude, absolutely rude. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's the next one? Didn't I have the next? There was more. We well, she always she always gives me multiple. Clues I always give him more. From. Oh, you couldn't have given me an easier the, one. The easiest one is the rat often appears in commercials and advertisements wearing his signature red cap and bow tie. You're a little poop head for not giving me that. I was okay. absolutely not giving you that for one. For my number, for my first, her for one point clue is so easy. You could have given me, we would have tied. Rachel, I told Roxanne early on that I was going to help her out. <laughs> okay. This is cheating. Um, this, uh, no, it's what coercion. <laughs> I don't think that's the word. Coercion? No. Collusion. Collusion. There we go. I was like, that's not the word. She coerced this me is into how, helping This is how hard cheat. I need to help win. For Roxanne written by Rachel. Yeah. This sit-down chain restaurant was originally owned by General Mills, but then was sold sold to the Darden restaurants along with a seafood restaurant. Darden. Okay. Um, next clue. This is your two-point clue. Okay. This was the first to offer the unlimited menu. Oh. I'm going to go for it. Olive Garden. It's 
I know because I'm I'm like contemplating <laughs> okay. it. Final answer. You know, you took a gamble, Roxanne, and sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. In this particular instance, I will say, however, you know, sometimes we're winners, sometimes we're losers. Okay. Oh my we god! Don't. And in life, I think it's it's giving it your all and just trying your best. That really, just at the end of the day, you want to be able to look at yourself in the mirror. You got it right. Yeah, you're right. Woo! I won one finally. Wait, you also have to read the three point clue or the one point clue just so she can hear it. It's Americanized Italian food featuring oh. infamous breadsticks. Thank God, Roxanne. I was coming. Won. I was I was gonna win regardless, but I was I got it and I needed that. Uh, well, congratulations to Roxanne for being on the books for winning her first ever episode. Woo! Uh, we are so proud of you. Uh, you've dethroned Rachel. So next next episode, Rachel dethroned is a bit much, but <laughs> Ra- Ra- Rachel loses whatever lifeline you want oh, her to lose at the top of the next. That's episode. That's right. Oh, oh, of course we have stakes now. I was like, I needed more stakes. That's well, it doesn't what I got matter. I didn't going. use hint this week, so all right. And yeah. then and and for next week's stakes, the loser gets stabbed. Okay. Oh, okay. It's good one. Fair. Um, thank you everyone for watching. We're so happy. We hope you liked this episode and tune in next week, every Monday morning. Um, follow us on Twitter, Twitter, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Instagram. It is always the first one I want to say. Instagram, YouTube. Uh, Spotify, Spotify, any platform, TikTok, TikTok, wherever you listen to podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podcast Podcast. YouTube podcast, also, uh, please, Amazon Music podcast. Please give us a rating. Um, obviously, the higher the better if you're enjoying it. And also, let us know if there's anything that you want to hear from us. We have an email that you can shoot over your questions at brokenbrillianttrivia at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. We love you. Thanks. Bye. Love you. Bye. Oh, no, wait. Stay, oh, stay, stay, stay oh, smart, oh, not broke. Oh. Stay smart, not broke. There was a new one. Did you see it? No, no, what happened? This? I did this. Oh, no, no, not that. Again. They did confetti. We're so stupid. Ah! Ah! <laughs> We're so stupidly entertained by this. Yeah, it's like so fun. Millennials. Um, stay smart, not broke.